our final uh, stick of the night. We're starting a segment that's going to happen every show. And it's highlighting a superstar, whether they're in TNA, they're on Raw, they're on SmackDown, ECW, Ring of Honor. Hell, we might even cover someone in Chikara. Chikara. Chikita the only banana. First, the only person I really like in Chikara is Mike Quackenbush. That's because <laughs> Quacker Jacks is yes! a man. Yes! His, na- his last name is Mike Quackenbush. <laughs> Are you sure he's not Quackers in a bush? Oh my god. I love Quack. He's awesome. He's a very good wrestler. A very, very good wrestler. He is one of those guys that will bend somebody up and it'll make you hurt by watching it. I have seen some of him, um, some of his moves that just literally will, it's unbelievable. If you don't know who this man is, you need to YouTube him. You need to look him up. Just, he's incredible. Quacker. I think uh, on Daily Motion, maybe? I don't remember what it was, but uh, I was uh, directed towards a, uh, a match she had with Colt Cabana, and it, was, it wasn't like a high-flying, fast-paced match. It was more of a grounded submission moves match. It was a very technical match. I've seen it, and it's amazing. It is really, really good. I think it is on Daily Motion, but I also think that I have it on my computer somewhere. I don't. That's why I said uh, Daily Motion. But uh, well, yeah, if I can find part. it. I'm gonna put it up on the um, shoot MySpace. We have a, a, a ton of great things to say about uh, Mike Quack and Bush, but our highlighted wrestler is of... actually not Quack. Yeah, it's uh, Tyler Black. Oh, Mick Dreamy. <laughs> <laughs> I have been um, told specifically that I am not to focus on his spankies. And I'm not going to. Because there is a lot more to Tyler Black than just the fact that, he, yeah. Let's He's just... one of probably the best really young stars that wrestling has to offer on the independent circuit. Hell, even in general. I honestly can't think of any of the young um, WWE talent that can even hold a candle to Tyler Black. Maybe it's personal. Nobody does. <laughs> Anyways, this guy is like, he, he's six foot one, and he's got distribution on his body where he's got long legs, a long torso, and a long neck, and it's, it's amazing to see what he does because he looks like a really big guy. Ooh, you did it. Why do I even go on air anymore? <laughs> Anyways, we're going to find a new place to do this show. <laughs> he, he is a really great wrestler. He debuted in 2005, and for a guy that's his size, it's amazing to see what he does in the ring. Because he does a standing moonsault that you would think a guy his size could do. I, w- I mean, you would expect um, a guy like Evan Bourne or Rey Mysterio to pull off the moves that he does, but even being so tall and so oddly proportioned, it really looks like he's a lot taller than he is. And he just pulls out some of the most agile moves that you can even think of. He's very, very talented. It's it's amazing to see how far he's come. I mean, I I didn't know about him until I started watching the Ring of Honor last year, and he was part of the Age of the Fall. And, uh, he is more like the monkey backup for Jimmy Jacobs than I guess, because <laughs> he was always in tag team matches with him. And it was kind of hard to sit there and watch, because he didn't get to use a lot of things because it was always Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. That's Don't the, get me wrong. That I, is I, the I, first I, time I have heard you say anything that is anti-Jimmy in my entire life. It's not anti-Jimmy. Anti-Jimmy would be me saying that I love Aries more than him, okay? How you even said that without retasting your McDonald's, I'll never know. The bile is starting to <laughs> Uh, the bile in my stomach is starting to rise just hearing that. 
Anyways, mm-hmm. don't get me wrong when I say that, though, because I really do love Jimmy. He's an awesome wrestler. Jimmy, underrated. call her. But it kind of held Tyler back a bit, I guess. I mean, it was great progression for him to be a part of a group before he got the the can from Age of the Fall. <laughs> Poor Tyler. And now he's going out on his own. He's actually a point, uh, uh, a key point in the new Ring of Honor video wire. It's uh, on YouTube if you ever watch it. And uh, he currently has a title challenge thing, I guess, that he can go up against Nigel McGuinness for. Sunshine. <laughs> the man's in the I love Nigel. I- I honestly love listening to him talk because he's the most ridiculous individual on the planet. <laughs> One word. Sugar nuts. That's it. <laughs> Leotard. But enough about Nigel. <laughs> We're talking about Tyler Black. He's got a title shot that he could use at any time. And he apparently, if you watch this, uh, this uh, video wire... He says that he's going to keep that in his back pocket and he's focusing more on Jimmy Jacobs and Austin Aries. That's going to go straight to Aries' head. Oh, hopefully we'll see where this leads and if it leads into our show, well, great. We'll have plenty to tell you about that. (laughs) Well, that's... That's basically uh, Tyler Black, our first highlighted superstar of Shoot Radio. And on Friday, we'll probably have another one. Yeah, uh, if you want to know more about Tyler Black, just uh, type in his name on Google. He'll His uh, first page will be his Wikipedia. His second will be his MySpace. Third is ObsessedWithWrestling.com. The key points you'll probably want to look at is Wikipedia and his MySpace. He, is, apart from wrestling, he's a pretty talented poet. He he is. I mean, I've written poetry since I was like 13 and I read some of his stuff and just sit there. The way he he words things, he's very eloquent. He he really is. He's he's a jack of all trades and he's so young. He's only 22 years old. He's a baby. <laughs> I love how we do that. We're all like, oh my god, he's a baby. I'm younger than him, and you're older by, what, a year? Not even. <laughs> no, actually, he'll be turning 22, or, I mean 23, uh, in May 28th, I think. Yeah, he's only about five months younger than me. <laughs> so, it, it's funny to hear us say shit like that. You're a baby, but you're only a little bit. <laughs> oh. If we happen to meet him at Ring of Honor, I will probably have a hilarious story to come back with. <laughs> it's gonna do all we can not to call him a baby to his face. <laughs> no, you're he's gonna open his mouth to say something. You're gonna, oh, shut up. No, he's gonna open his mouth to say something. I'm gonna turn my head and try not to laugh. Because I'm gonna be looking at the floor trying not to laugh. Because of all the shit we've given over his uh, absolutely adorable lisp. I mean, it's and not. hilarious how his lisp is adorable, but Jack Swagger's <laughs> is not. Jack Swagger has one of those annoying lists that you want to smack out of him. I know. But Tyler's is a very soft-spoken lisp. You have to listen for it. It's not like his, I'm the ECW champion. Yeah. Swagger's is a very, very strong lisp. I didn't hear too much of a lisp in the uh, Ring of Honor video wire. I think it's something that he can, sh- you know, hide if he wants to. I'm hoping that it's the case. 